Hey everybody, how is it going on? And today I'm gonna show you how to lear run Laravel without the Artisan. Now, Artisan is a great tool in terms of uh, serving the um, development server for the um, Laravel application. Sometimes I find it very laggy, and sometimes I think it's because probably it it utilizes the PHP integrated development server, which is basically I think um, runs uh, using a single thread. So sometimes it's really kind of like laggy. Uh, by the way. Um, using Laravel or running Laravel um, on the XAMPP or LAMP or LAMP server it's pretty easy all we have to do is to point to the public directory now I'm gonna show you that today and I think I'm gonna do the very best practice out of that because uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna basically create a virtual host and I'm gonna point that um, to the public directory of our Laravel application. Now I'm on Windows and I'm, I'm going to be using the XAMPP server. Um, so let's begin. If you already have a Laravel project up and running, all you have to do click on the explore and go to the um, htdocs directory and just copy paste your Laravel directory right up here. So first thing first, we're gonna edit the Apache virtual host file. So how do you wanna edit that? Um, we need to go to again, click on Explore and go to the Apache and go to the conf directory and then go to the extra directory and from there, you're going to go ahead and uh, open httpd-vhost.conf file on uh, with your favorite editor. I have I got already open mine once so what I'm going to do is just simply um, copy this line of code and just paste it back in here I'm gonna uncomment this all um, just all right so just uncomment it and then what we have to do is make changes to this line so go back to the htdocs directory where you have uh, your insta your Laravel installed and just copy this URL and paste it here and rename this um, to all right so now as I said before that we need to point to the public directory so where is the public directory the public directory is inside here go to the application folder and inside the public um, basically I need to copy this right so just put this link up here uh, put this directory path here all right so then uh, we have to give the server a name so I'm gonna go ahead and give it my blog dot dev make sure you save that mm, and now we need to edit the hosts file now editing the hosts file is different in terms of the operating systems you you are using if you're Windows if you're using the Windows then it's pretty easy I'm gonna do that you have to just follow me alright so we need to open the notepad using the administrator permission so let's do it um, notepad and uh, right click and run as administrator yes and click on the file and open and um, we need to go to this path C drive and then Windows and then System32 drivers and EDC and choose all files and double tap on the hosts. Now uh, here we just have to type in the IP address, our, our local IP ad address, which is which implies to local host, which is 127.0.0.1 and press a tab. Uh, my blog dev so my blog my blog.dev and save that in close that all right so now we need to restart the xam server so so I, I'm gonna stop the Apache and I'm gonna start the Apache again and once it's done I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check this out if it's going to work or not so so my blog dev and it it worked right so it works so so that is how we're gonna use the Laravel using the without using artisan 
and using our XAMPP or MAMP or WAMP server or LAMP server so thank you guys for watching the video um, and yep, if, if it helps go ahead and subscribe and if you need to, needed to ask any question um, you can use the hashtag AskRocketTZ in the Prism and go ahead and ask a question I'll be um, happy to give you a solution if I can thanks again